<laughs> ok, Astres kommer, klokken når kommer hun? Cirka klokken 12. Cirka klokken 12. Eh, og eh, både Thomas, Marlon, Terje, jeg vet det faktisk ikke, men han har ikke sagt det eksplisitt, men like i hvert Herman, alle guttene i skam, er forelsket i Astres. Og hun kommer i dag uten at de vet om det. Jeg har spurt mamma om han var våken og på plass, og så skriver hun bare Listen, I mean, that's a response. Is it a good one? No wonder those scenes look so real. Also, the most thing you do there, linger in there. Hold on, there's a comma. Linger in there, huh? Hold on, it's like that. 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 He is dead to the world. He is actually asleep. Bra, og så legger dere dere og se på hverandre bare litt nærmere. This is T.Y. Hayes. Oh, hi. I'm right here. Somewhere in Oslo. Chilling. Playing in a sex scene. What's up? You child. <laughs> Why? Okay, I have a feeling that I'm feeling right now. Comment if you agree. I think that Thomas is way more interesting than William ever was. And I've only known Thomas <laughs> for what? Five minutes? Us <laughs> is not allowed to have a cat. That's so cool. Hold on. Look at that. Oh, fuck. You can't see it. Look at that tattoo, though. It's like a flower. A geometric flower thing? That looks so cute! And that's a really painful spot to get a tattoo on. I just have to say, that's pretty bad fucking ass. I mean, not bad fucking the ass, but like bad fucking ass, but badass. Oh my god, yes! Yes! Oh please! I'm sorry, um, was that too gay? <laughs> oh my god, this shot. Fucking Herman in the background. Oh fuck, that's gonna make me on. Oh shit, oh no. Oh no. Fuck you. I look on the sky, I'm very glad for us to see you now. Yeah. Men har ikke vi truffet så er ikke det naturlig å klabbe liksom, eller? Jo, kanskje. Hei! Ok, det var ikke noe. Det er ikke noe blokk her. I love that! It's so fucking chill! It's so chill! It's like so collaborative as well. Like, Julie created the setting, the environment, the script, and the plots, and then she opened up the door for other suggestions to make it better, enhance the story, enhance the organic nature of it. I admire that. That's such a wonderful process to adapt into anything creative, I feel like. And I mean, duh, the season one is awesome. So, oh wait, we're in season two. Sorry. Um. Sitting in without a shirt on. Skvente venner våre. I'm noticing something else that I want to bring up. Thomas is adorable, and he has so much personality. I guess now I can say that, holy shit, he must be a really fucking good actor because William is practically dead in so many of his scenes, like in the face and in the soul. But I wish that they had maybe injected a little bit of that personality that Thomas just has right because he's already filled with it and try to maybe incorporate that a little bit into Vilja. okay an extreme example of this kind of character of the kind of character that i view William as is christian gray but what i'm basically trying to say is that he is so modeled to fit a fantasy and i feel like William is not that he's within the spectrum of like a character of desire that girls are after because he's the popular kid at school he's good-looking he's rich and apparently he has this side to him like he's generally very cold but then he has a side to him that can be very dedicated committed loving caring thoughtful but Christian Grey like I said is the most poorly written of that I I don't appreciate that character because he was put in a leading role and he is 
he wasn't done any justice like in terms of developing him he always felt like just like a, an accessory to Nora as opposed to an equal oh my god actual fucking sunshine sanabakush look at her um the sun who is she i only know sanabakush you are yellow that don't you go from the bana you fucking bougie Joy. ass bitch you look amazing oh <laughs> bruh he has so much personality to him he like he's so lovable and kind of a little childish you know not too polished not too put together he acts his age I think that'll be obvious, but we'll figure it out. Okay? <laughs> oh my god, they're legit freaking out. Marlon's dead. Fucking Thomas is gone. Herman's just like, cool. That guy is the coolest. He doesn't even. You okay? Or. Can I just say that this was my mom's? This is so off topic. I think I was maybe freshman in high school. I started getting into hip hop because pff, fuck. And um, during that time, I had gotten a hold of the Missy Elliott album and it had this track on it. And then my mom took a liking to it for some fucking reason, which is so strange. Like, if you know my mom at all, it's a big what the fuck to hear her say, Oh, this is a good song. And it turns out to be a Missy Elliott song. Like, huh? And so she started singing it. But the way she sang it, like, she would sing the, the chorus wrong, but with full conviction. She'd go, get your freak alone. Get your freak alone. And it'd be like, that makes sense. But it's, get, I mean, it's get your freak on. But I get it. Like, it logically makes sense. You want to get your freak? You want to get it alone. If you're not getting your freak alone, then you have to share your freak. And you don't want to share your freak with anyone else. So you get your freak alone. Yes, that is me dancing off camera. Oh my God, yes. He's so soft. I would have never known that Thomas was that fucking soft. It's adorable. Hi, bye. It's done. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's done. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not ready. I have to pee. I'm not ready. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm ready, but I want to prep myself for it, so I'm not going to watch it for <laughs>